I'm going to talk a little bit about postmenopause and bleeding today. Menopause, as most people know, is a phase in the life of a woman where menses get stopped. It usually occurs at around the age of 50. But this process of stoppage of bleeding does not occur always regularly. Sometimes they are irregular, sometimes they are prolonged and sometimes they are heavy and painful. And there are a lot of instances where women get very worried because of bleeding at around this period which is called perimenopausal bleeding. And they come to the doctor thinking, oh my god, I have got a cancer or I am going to develop a cancer. So first and foremost, I want to assure you that in the majority of cases, there is nothing to worry about. But at the same time, I would emphasize that please go and see a doctor because it is very important that we investigate. And what are the investigations to be done? Mostly, there are three tests which needs to be done. Apart from the general examination and the history taking and the physical examination, we would like to do a transvaginal sonography where we see whether there is anything inside going on or not. And then there is another test which most of you would have heard and that is called the pap smear test. These two tests along with the speculum examination which means having a look down below into the cervix will comprise of most about 90% of all the tests that you require. Apart from that maybe a little hemoglobin or sugar or thyroid will require. In majority of cases, all these test reports come normal. Just in case, suppose on transvaginal sonography, if the endometrial thickness or the lining of the uterus is thick, then doctor may advise you to do a test which is called hysteroscopy, which means having a look inside the uterus and to take a little tissue from there for testing. And in majority of cases, this testing report is normal and we can give you medicines and we can observe. Now the question is when to visit a doctor when you have a bleeding? So first of all we need to know that what are the normal types of bleeding that can occur at menopause. Usually menopause occurs in three ways. One is there is a regular period which goes on and then the period stops abruptly and there is no more bleeding. The second way would be that the period becomes delayed and delayed, which means in the first cycle it's one month, which is normal, and then it becomes one and a half months or six weeks, and then two months or three months, and gradually with that prolonged cycles it stops. This is the second type of stoppage of bleeding. The third type of stoppage of bleeding is that the amount of bleeding becomes progressively less and less, which means suppose you have a period of five days, a month, and then it becomes reduced to four days a month, gradually three days a month and one day a month and then maybe a scanty staining on the pad and then it stops. So these are the three ways of normal stoppage of menses in menstruation in menopausal women. If anything other than these things say, happens, which means irregular period, in one month you have twice or thrice bleeding or heavy passage of clots or pain, that is the time when you have to go to a doctor. And Mind you, there is nothing to worry about, in majority of cases nothing is found, only very rarely an operation which is called hysterectomy needs to be done and which is called, uh, which is basically removal of the uterus and that can even be done by laparoscopy. So that is what I would like to say that if there is any abnormal bleeding at around the time of menopause, please visit your doctor, get yourself investigated, don't worry, there is help at hand majority of cases nothing is found please don't be scared of a cancer all the time and the health is at hand thank you